Hello and welcome back to Infraspace. In the last couple of episodes, we've been working on designs for the residential districts and the associated uh, oxygen and food areas here for the basics, at least, the basic food, at least. And uh, we also put in the, um, put in the, the, what is this thing called again? <laughs> the spaceport, geez, Wally. Uh, to make sure that everything was working properly with them and with these, and th it is. These have almost filled up now. Uh, I think some made it over here before I re-disconnected this road, but the problem we had was that I had some of the roads, the one-way roads, backward. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to design and build the areas for building the, um, the appliances, and then, uh-oh, what happened here? Oh, I read something about this. There's a slight bug where when sometimes when you load the game back up, things get rearranged. And there's not anything you can really do about it but to just fix it. Uh, so we're going to work on the appliances, which needs the, uh, the electronics, which needs copper and iron as well as more iron for this. And we also then need to work on the computers, which are going to take uh, um, microchips electronic circuits and aluminum and the electronics require sand or sorry the microchips require sand so we need to have copper and iron for these plus sand for these plus aluminum directly for this and uh, we get the aluminum only from here so we have to send it over which we built this road the last time but cut it off because uh, everything was coming this way not just that all the things from here were coming that way and we're going to actually be able to fix that with zones in a little while, but not just yet. So what I would like to do is I'd like to build out uh, factories for making these things. Now, at first, I think, and probably during the last, as the episode was running, the last episode, I was going to make each thing in its own little area. Uh, make a giant uh, electronics uh, factory area, a giant appliances factory area, a giant whatever area, whatever area, whatever area. But I don't think that's the wisest. And the reason that I don't think that's the wisest is because of this adjacency bonus. By putting the electronic circuits near the home appliances, uh, we get this 8% boost to, um, well, something. I think it's to time. Uh, that's the best thing I can tell, at least, that it's due to time, because it basically just gives us the ability to produce uh, more per minute, which is what this uh, this screen here tells us. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ratios again between the electronic circuits and the home appliances and do them, uh, lay them out exactly as they uh, need to be. And the ratio is that the home appliances needs two electronic circuits for every home appliance factory, two electronic circuits every 36 seconds. And this produces two every 32 seconds. So and to, uh, up until a point, and assuming we don't have the bonus, which we do, uh, up until a point, the um, the circuits actually uh, overproduce slightly to the point where we can actually go, uh, we can actually lose one every so often. But basically, they're one to one. Now, if we take the 36 seconds and we divide that by uh, 1.08 to add 8% uh, speed to it, at least I think that's the way I want to do this. Uh, or it could be 36 times 0.92. It's not that different. That brings us much closer to the 32 seconds here. So much so that, assuming that these were all like one to one, uh, that this would be a um, almost perfectly one to one ratio. Now, if you had that other 8% in, perhaps for another adjacency bonus, at least, we may even get more than that, then you're getting it even closer together with uh, with the numbers here. So you're going in like 36 uh, divided by 1.16 or 36 times 0.84, which gets you down in the 30 to 31 second neighborhood. So potentially if you get two adjacencies like this one is, you're actually moving faster with the home appliances than you are with the, um, than you are with, with the electronics factories. And I want to just kind of think about that number just really quick. 8% bonus to speed means that, yeah, it should be, it should be divided by the 1.08 or the 1.16. That should be the number. So that takes us down, the 16 takes us down to 31 almost exactly. And the 8 takes us down to uh, 33 and a third. So I think what we're going to do with this, uh, we need iron and copper and more iron. Uh, we're just going to lay these out kind of alternatingly in a, another district over here. And if, if I'm going to do that, then what I need to do is actually widen this road. 
uh, by quite a lot, actually. So let's go, um, let's go out to, did we do super highways for these? We did do, or, uh, highways for these, not super highways. Let's do the, uh, four lane highway for this right now. And that's going to actually conflict with the building, but that's fine. And I'm going to put this one here too, even though we may not even need it. It depends on where the iron is coming from. Um, and then this may not even stay here, but it can stay here for now. That's fine. Oh, they can't connect to there. Um, then let's put a small, small road in here. Uh, I can go out like that. And then we can grab this and flip it onto that. And we'll just leave it like that. Now, uh, these other buildings, the uh, electronics... No, they're not there. They're over here. The electronics factories and the... Um, Wow. And the appliances factories, they can go in a district right in here. And I think that'll work out fine. And again, I may just move this again um, somewhere else, depending on where I ended up, where I end up wanting to put that, which, I mean, it's fine where it is, probably, as, at least as much so as anything else. So if we come off of this with a road, and I'm not sure yet how I want this to work, so we're just going to temporarily do this, uh, kind of similar to this. Um, we know that we need to have, or rather, what do we know? Uh, we know that we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these or so for 75 houses. So one of them is, is worth about 7.5 houses uh, worth of production. And um, we're going to get uh, 60. I think 10, 20, 30, yeah, 60 in here. So that's going to be about one, two, uh, eight. Eight total factories. So this is actually a fairly small build. This is kind of in my way. Maybe I'll move it. Maybe I will move it over here. Let's put it over there for right now. And then let's delete this road. Boom. Okay. And so if we want to do it like this, uh, we can just, again, draw a line here. A line in the sand, so to speak. And we can do, like... Uh, well, maybe let's do it the other way over. Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's do... If we do one of these... And then one of these... And then alternate it again. One of these. And... One of these. Nope, not you. One of you. My road isn't long enough. But let's just pretend that's what I do. Um, mm -hmm. A little bit longer. Now, if we mirror that on the other side, that takes care of... Uh, we, we decided for one of these, we need to have eight. That loan takes care of half of what we need for one of these. And I can extend it this way to accommodate additional... Um, districts, housing districts, which we're going to need at least a couple of these. And also, we have to remember that as these houses grow up, they gain more people, which means they need more of each increasing uh, or each each stepwise item. So right here, you can kind of you can kind of assume that as these houses grow up, they're going to go from needing uh, 0.6 per minute for 10 um, up to. And actually, you can demonstrate this quite easily. Uh, 0.8 per minute for 14. So as they increase, they need to gain additional items. Um, 0.6 per minute is uh, about... Um, is 36 per second... For 10 people. So each person needs three. No, that isn't right. Yeah, that is correct. I'm doing YouTube math again, and I really shouldn't be. Uh, let's let's just not even worry about that. So the the uh, the point of the whole thing is is that as these habitats grow up, get to higher levels, they start requiring more and more of the basic materials in addition to the uh, upper materials that they get. So we need to be able to design these manufacturing areas so that they can take upon themselves more and more materials. And right now, um, if, we, if we don't, then we're going to be kind of uh, messed up in the end. So let's move these out of the way for right now, because uh, I want to move this up a little bit tighter. 
And I think, I think I want to move it up tighter. Or is that actually far enough? It's probably close enough that I shouldn't worry about it. But um, I'm going to anyway. And so let's take another road out. And should I bring it closer this way? Now, I think that's probably an okay location. Because if you put four buildings in here, it's getting us kind of close to the freeway. And we've already got this here working fine. So let's swing this around and see about uh, nine units. Or should we go out to ten units? I'm fretting over something that really doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's do let's do nine units, and then we'll come down this way. Uh, I guess we need to go about 18 units. And let's see how that fits. You can snap in there. Make sure that you're good. Yeah. You go in there, and then... See, this one's going to get bonus from both of those. Uh, but this one's not, so... Oh, it's actually too far. Uh, let's delete... We do. And I want to end right there at 16 units. Okay. That makes sense, because these are 4x4 four four, and these are 4x3. So that kind of makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, so since these are 4x4 four four deep... Um, oh, I have a crazy idea. Let's go out by 8 units to there, and then down 16 again. Crazy idea time for walling. Uh, and let's do a... Um, no, let's do one of these here. And there's two there's two folds of this crazy idea. Uh, the one fold is that I can put them like this. And I can puzzle piece them in. The other fold of this idea is, look at all the bonuses. And because they're puzzle pieced in, they have all kinds of adjacency. Which is going to be awesome, I think. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can do seven, eight. Which should be enough to support one of these. Yes, one of these districts. And that's all we're going to build to start with for right now. No, that's not the building. Get out of there. This one. And then we'll build another set over here as we're ready to bring the next one online. All right, so they, of course, need all kinds of things, including iron and copper. Now, we have copper here. We have iron here. So we're just going to mine from those. And I think I want to continue this highway up in that direction. Is it you? No, it's three. Because this is, these are the highways that are uh, that you cannot connect to. Those look really nice. They really do. I like the color. Imagine these are going to look even nicer. Oh, and we forgot to do with the research. Uh, we did unlock last time. Uh, neural processors and yellow science. I think also carbon nanotubes. We're going to work towards the home robots as we continue um, fiddling with this stuff here. And I'm just going to keep this highway uh, as, as large as it is. I think it's fine the way that it is. Um, and then we'll come here. And we'll just take a... Um, a, a almost at a belt. A road this way and another road this way. And that's where we can connect up the uh, the miners. So we need... Um, I don't know how many iron mines we need, and I'm not going to bother doing the math. I'm just going to put a couple down, and then we'll figure it out as we go on the fly. And a couple of these as well. And I'm using... Oh, no, I'm not. Delete, delete. Wait, how are you getting power? I'm going to use the big ones, though. Do these... Don't these take power? I'm out of concrete? I've been building a lot of roads. Go so check our concrete factories. I could have sworn these took power. They do. How do they have... Oh, that's how they have power. Right there. Okay, that's fine. They can send their materials. I don't really care. Um, how are you doing factory? You're just cranking as fast as you can. You're just not making enough. Uh, where was the concrete at? Was it here? Yeah. Let's uh, double this. And that means we probably need to add in some more sulfur. And I'm going to do that by deleting this one. That's the way you add things in, is by deleting things. Uh, scoot you over... There. And then add in another large sulfur mine here. And then we're going to remove one of these sand mines. 
and add in a large sand mine. 48 concrete. And we're over our power budget again. Which means we're going to need even more concrete to put up more power. Come on. There we go. And we, which we don't have. Uh, let's go up to uh, high speed here. And let's look at what we need for power 50. It won't take very long. That's only going to give me just barely enough to get by. Uh, ideally, I would wait for this to get more. But I think we'll have to just get by for now. There we are. Some idiot's building too much. That's the problem. Let's just go right there against the road. That's fine. Alright. And that made our power okay. And then we're just going to need to wait. Hopefully I will have enough... Um, concrete in a little bit. And we can actually make a solar panel area. Alright, so you're getting iron. And then we need to get copper in here. Just gonna cost me another 120 and gonna put me over my power budget. So I just need to wait and for the power to build. In the meantime, we can talk about uh, the piece that's next, which is going to be the. Um... Actually, is this actually even in the way? Maybe it's not in the way. Yeah, kinda. I was just messing with it. I don't know. Maybe I'll move that someplace else. Um, I don't know at this point where is best, but, um, we need to do some more road upgrades too, but that's going to cost me some more concrete. Unlocked home robots, home robot factory. Nice. We're actually going to blow through a lot of this science. Uh, oh, solar panels. That's good. Self-cleaning solar panels. Once your solar panels clean themselves, your solar power will generate much more power. Yeah, that's a good plan. Let's do that one. And that unlocked home robot factory, which needs like more electronic circuits, motors, which we did set up one motor factory just for fun. Uh, those blue thingies, which are neural processors. And is that aluminum? I think that's aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. Because it's the same as the computer factories need. So we'll be able to set those up too once we get this all this stuff moved over here. And I'm also going to recycle lack of a better word, the stuff from over here and add it in over here to add to make the second district work. Um, instead of deleting stuff and rebuilding stuff. Let's go do solar panel building. Um, I don't know where else I want to build power just yet, but uh, we need to find another place. Can these be, like, threaded in here? It appears to be so. Well, then why don't I just snake these down the middle of this... Um, this power area. Yeah. They seem to be still producing. So I should just put a line of them right in there. Alright. So now that we have that build uh, kind of figured out, we need to go to another place and we need to build, and I think that other place is over here, which is why I was kind of chuckling to myself about where I should position this building. Maybe that's just fine. That might be just fine. Uh, and build it over here. And actually, so that means I probably need to delete a road up this way further. And let this one be in here. Use the crappy roads. Temporarily, at least. And actually, I want to do a road replacement to uh, highways. For this one and this one. And then a road replacement to these for here and here. That way, they're still connected to the second tier roads, but they can use the speed provided by the third tier when they as much as they can. And we can probably build our copper mine. Yes. You can go there. And you don't have any power, which is fine. You're not going to get power just yet. Okay, so now let's, let's plan out our um, other factory here. Let's do... Let's see, what do we need? We need to have a... Uh, computer and I think that's one to one with the uh, microchips and it might also be one to one with this but let's take a look 80 seconds we need to have one microchip every 80 seconds 
This produces one microchip every 60 seconds, so it's it's close enough to one to one to be okay, especially when you consider the bonuses we're going to get from this, I think. Meanwhile, this needs two uh, electronic circuits every 80 seconds, plus two every 60 seconds. So that's, this is why I had fuzzy math before also. Uh, and this produces two every 32 seconds. Now this isn't going to get any speed bonuses, but this produces just about enough for an unbonused, um, for two ones, two of these unbonused. And that might just be enough for this also. Uh, let's, let's, let's make sure. Two every 32 seconds, that's one every 16 seconds. You're gonna need to have at least one every 30 seconds. So that means that, I don't like those numbers either. Uh, this produces, uh, two times 32 divided by 60. Yeah, one, no, nope, nope. Come on, Wally. Why can't you do YouTube math? Two times... No, I'm totally messing this math up now. Two every 32 seconds, so... so I want to know how many per minute. Items per minute would be, let's see, that's it's two items divided by 32. That's 0 0.0625 items per second times 60. Okay, 3.75 circuits per minute. This needs, uh, with the 8% bonus, uh, one divided by 1.08. Point nine two per minute. No, times two, because it needs two. This needs 1.85 per minute, which is almost exactly half how many this can produce. Now, this is going to get a 16% bonus because it has contact with two of these. Uh, and the 16% bonus on, um, on the microchips means that it needs 0.86 no. Yeah, it needs 0.86 every 80 seconds, which means it needs 0.64 per minute. And this is going to produce... If all my YouTube math is correct, this is going to produce... What was the number? I saw it. 0.92 per minute. So in fact, the ratio here is a little bit different. Um, and we can probably actually just look at that here. Yes, I know you're not getting everything you need, but yeah, because we're only using 0.14, but we're producing 0.17. So the ratio isn't exactly one to one, but it's kind of close enough that it's, it's probably fine. Oops, not what I wanted. And then, um, so I think that we should just do one, one, and one. Long story, uh, long. We completed the self-cleaning solar panels. Okay. Great. How much power are they producing now? Let's go see. 75 out of 50. Okay. So that boosted our power production a little. What else can we work on here that's uh, cheap? Six lane roads, that sounds like a good plan to me. We're probably gonna replace those, uh, or use those in a little bit. So with this configuration, or one, if we do one to one to one, which is gonna be a little bit off, but I think it's okay. If we do one to one to one, then we need to do, um, we need to figure out how we wanna lay this out. So let's do, We do something like this. No, I think what we need to do is, well, so you're going to get bonuses from both of those if they're close enough, which that's close enough. Is this close enough? 
Yes. And I think that might be better because the, um, the electronic circuits will go to each one. Now, we can't do the uh, puzzle piece quite like we did with this one, but I think that's fine too. Uh, so let's look at uh, distance here. Let me move you over like this. Not really what I want you to look at, though. And then this one can go over here. This one can go, come here, right here, next to. And then we can see kind of where we need to put the road in at. Might be a better way to do this than the way that I was doing it. Let's put it in. You know what? Actually, let's just come back here. This is fine. This is fine. Now, those are only three units. So let's go out to eight, I think, for this first one. That way we have some space next to the road. And then we can put these in. And let's move them out of the way a little bit. Actually, we need to remove them and replace them, I think, because I did the rotation. Let's do the cheap roads. And that's going to be four for S12. I think we'll just do one per line, so we'll go out to 12. And I don't think you're going to let me snap. No. Okay, we just need to delete these then. Replace them. Uh, let's see, this one can go here first, right there. And then the electronic circuits can go next. And then finally, the microchips can go last. And I think that'll work out fine. Uh, and then we can re... Or we can complete that. Now, these are going to produce... Uh, four computers every 80 seconds. That's one computer every 20 seconds. And these are going to need... How many computers? Well, we can just do it this way, too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight was enough for 75. So it's probably a little bit more than enough, in fact. Um... Yeah, a little bit more than enough. So we'll say uh, 1 to 10 should be enough. So we need to have 6 of each of these uh, for this build. Nope, I keep clicking the wrong button. I can go there. And see, they're going to get bonuses from other neighbors as well, which is fine. It just means I need less. Right, and then we can do another road in here. Um, I can do th this road. Let's see, that's three or four rather. Eight, the number I want. Now those are only three deep, so I need seven. I think, and then twelve. You go there, you go there. One to ten means I need six total. Okay. Which means we need another road. Let's put these in. There and there. And then we can do this to seven. And then a twelve. And actually let's go ahead and upgrade these. Replace with this. And I think I see that I need to do this one here. Yes, I do. All right. Wrong button once again. You can go there. I'd right, open oh, this one first, please. And then this one. Now these need to have sand. They need to have copper and they need to have iron and they need to have uh, aluminum. You can see the iron zooming in here already. Uh, we'll have to set up a sand mine, which we can do literally anywhere. So maybe up here is a good place to do it. Because, well, it can be literally anywhere. I do want to leave space here to expand this uh, for the other block. And then, of course, to grow this way, as previously discussed. But uh, we could just do a little bit of a sand mine off of this. Uh, let's actually widen this road as well. Uh, freeway. Place. There. 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 I'm actually going to replace this back a few more blocks. And I need to upgrade. Well, I don't really need to upgrade this, but I can. To that. Okay, uh, the cheap stuff. Let's see, you can go. Nope, not replacing. 
We need... Maybe... Oh, we'll go out here. It doesn't matter. Now, uh, let's just go out a bit. And I'm not even going to do, like, the separate lines because so much of this is going to be... Um, not even really needed. Uh, that. Let's just do that like this. And then... Um, I should have done the better road, though. There you go. That should provide the sand. We don't have the copper coming in yet, which is fine also. But that should get us started on the next two products. And then the only other things we have to do to satisfy these houses' needs. Oxygen, survival, food. Why are these getting so low? Uh, probably a, a distance thing or a weird imbalance thing. Uh, home appliances, computers. Oh, we unlock six lane roads too. Home appliances, computers, and parks. So we have all of this except for the parks, and we're just going to move those over as we move the houses over. And I think maybe I'll put them on a block out here. Maybe we'll have to move our substation a little bit. Put them on a block out here behind the um, behind the residential district. I think that'll be fine because those aren't going to have to be added to nearly as much as the uh, as the other stuff will. Let's just put you kind of right there. And then if I take this highway and uh, I should probably actually plan one park at least. That's a big building. If I go out about as far as the uh, the substation is there. Say that far. Uh, let's go one more. Just for fun. And then I could just come down here with a uh, two-lane road. As far as I need to go, I'll just go 16 for now. And I can put parks in out here. Uh, snapped to that. Maybe I should do them. Yeah, I'm going to actually do uh, side streets here. Let's do a uh, swap of this. And then just do side streets to put the parks in here. And I think that'll be fine. Um, we can we can always quibble about it later. I'm trying to decide though, should I put one in and where? Uh, right about there would be good. And so I need to readjust these, which I should have thought about before I made them the way that I made them. So let's do that. Um, we got to line 13 here. And then I can switch to this road, giving a little service drive uh, out to 11 there. Move you. You can snap. Good. And that'll be the park for the first park for these houses. And we'll just place them as we need them here and on the other side if we need them on the other side later. And I think that'll work out okay. Uh, the substation is happy. I could even move it to the other side of the road if I wanted to. It doesn't really matter. It's just here to um, provide power. Alrighty. So I think that's a good place to stop today we're nearly there we need to just hook some power up here to the copper mine and start moving houses and other supporting businesses from here over to here and then we'll have to of course take apart uh, some of these other components too but we'll, we'll be able to get to that as um, as we set up the second uh, district which will be actually maybe even in the next episode as well and uh, make progress toward toward uh, completion. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.